Oh my god, what the hell? This is not a sheep that I've ever seen in my entire goddamn life. This doesn't look like Minecraft at all. This is like real. Who is that? These are not Minecraft people, bro. They got they made up people. Why is the creeper so fuzzy, bro? What in the hell? All right, bro. I see why people were hating on. That's for sure. It just looks bad. The whole thing looks bad, bro. After 11 years of waiting. I'm worried about a Minecraft movie. I know I'm not alone in this feeling, and if you're watching this video, it's probably the millionth video you've seen on the same topic, because everyone in the world seems to be upset about it. And I can sit here and talk about everything that's wrong, and everything I don't like about the Minecraft movie, but no, no, you, you've heard enough of that, that's not why I'm here. I'm here in the fence of the Minecraft movie, and I'm gonna tell you why it might not be as bad as you think. But first, I'm gonna tell you everything I don't like about it. Who the hell are these people? Minecraft has two people, Steve and Alex. Do any of these people look like Steve or Alex to you? But unluckily for both of us, Minecraft actually added seven more default characters to the game two years ago in 2022. So tell me who is who here. But no, you can't because they didn't use any of the nine default skins in Minecraft for any of the main characters. But luckily they did make sure they have the most famous character from Minecraft, Minecraft Steve in the movie. Oh. Never mind. What is even going on here? This is not Steve, bro. This is Jack Black in a blue shirt. And we can't even settle the ongoing debate of if it's a beard or a smile because Steve doesn't look like this. Like, I seriously feel like you could have put me in a blue shirt and I would have done just as well as this. Who are you? I am Steve. Okay. Oh, this guy is such a tool bag. Hey, I heard that. <laughs> yeah, take that, you bitch. Maybe I wouldn't have been that good at it. At least I kind of look like Steve. When they first announced Jason Momoa was going to be in this movie, I thought, and you probably thought too, that he was going to be Minecraft Steve. Because he kind of looks how I thought Minecraft Steve would look as a real person. Not that I look like Jason Momoa either. But then they announced Jack Black was going to be in the movie. So I was like, okay, so one of them will be Steve and one of them will be a villain of some sort, probably. Maybe Hero Brian? But instead, we got this, where Steve looks like a Salvation Army Santa Claus that stands outside of Walmart, and Jason Momoa looks like a Stranger Things character that is wearing a silly jacket. Yeah. I wanted to find out the plot to this movie because the trailer didn't really tell us anything yet, but it's just a teaser, so I'm not gonna hold that against them. Because they did actually give a little bit of a plot synopsis in the description of the video. It tells us that four misfits, Henry, Natalie, Dawn, and Garrett, the garbage man, yeah, that's actually what they called him, go through a mysterious portal to the overworld, a bizarre cubic wonderland that thrives on imagination. So Minecraft isn't a video game in this movie, it's a different dimension. And their goal is to team up with Steve and get back home by mastering this world using creativity. So it's a movie where four people go into a video game world and meet another other guy who was there for a while already and need to use their unique skills and talents to get back home. Does this seem familiar to you? It's the same story as the 2017 Jumanji movie. And for some reason, the movie based on a real life video game isn't a video game in the movie. In Jumanji, they get sucked into an actual video game in the movie, but Minecraft, a real world video game, is an alternate dimension, not a video game in the Minecraft movie. Also, Steve isn't a Minecraft character. He's just some guy who was already in the Minecraft dimension and just lived there. You could say that Steve just being a regular guy makes sense because he's like a stand-in for the regular everyday guy who plays Minecraft in real life. But Steve is like a god, dude. I'm sure you've seen someone do the math or talk about this before, but Minecraft Steve can carry 10 billion pounds of like metal and other materials and also single-handedly go to another dimension mention and kill a dragon. Does this guy look like he's slaying any dragons anytime soon? Also, why is the Minecraft dimension a not vanilla Minecraft? They had the freaking dynamic trees mod installed. That's not how trees look in Minecraft. And they also have the create mod or something for the village windmills to be in the game. And I have no idea what biome this is supposed to be, so I'm gonna assume it's another mod. So in the 78 second teaser trailer for a Minecraft movie, they have three mods that change a game on a basic level for literally no reason. And they have these weird freaks in place of animals that will show up in my nightmares tonight. The designs of the mobs don't actually bother me that much. Like, they just feel like jokes that didn't land and the piglins actually look pretty freaking sweet if you ask me and i saw a lot of people complain about the furry creeper but if you look at the movie poster it looks a little bit more grassy to me and notch the creator of minecraft said when he designed the creepers they're supposed to be like more leafy and grassy that blend in with the forest around them so in that case the grassy design makes a lot more sense to me than the scaly or the fleshy creeper design that were in those minecraft and real life videos back in the day And I am looking forward to seeing the villagers because I can't imagine them looking anything other than absolutely terrifying. I don't know why they seem to be doing everything they can to make the Minecraft movie not about Minecraft. It's almost like it's a shame to be a Minecraft movie. Do they not trust the idea of a video game movie succeeding? We just got the Mario movie that did really well and Sonic's on his third freaking movie at this point. And in a similar vein, we got the Lego movie that went crazy when it went out and that movie seriously rocks, dude. This is a generation defining video game and has more sales than any other game ever. It was created 15 years ago and has not only remained popular, but has been constantly worked on and updated since then. If you were born the day 
when Minecraft came out, you'd be a sophomore in high school right now. That's crazy. I know Minecraft doesn't have a traditional story, but a movie like the Mario movie where Steve and Alex go on an adventure and beat the Ender Dragon would have been exactly what the people wanted. It should have been a slam dunk of a movie, but instead it feels like it was written before they even got the IP license and it slapped Minecraft on a title card and said, look how weird Minecraft is in some of the jokes. It feels hollow. It has less life than a cemetery. And I just can't believe this is the best they could have done to represent the biggest game of all time. But at the end of the day, Minecraft is a game that is supposed to be used for creative expression. You can do anything and create anything you want with practically no limit. And if vanilla isn't enough for you, you can download thousands of free mods to break through any limit you might have. The creators of the movie did. And as much as Minecraft is a sandbox or an exploration game, it's a medium for storytelling. People have been creating stories and narratives since this game was released. Like Stampy's Lovely World, 100 Day Challenges, the Dream SMP. <laughs> Even I made a video with full movie in the title, I'm just some guy. Every time you create a new Minecraft world, you create a new story that will be told in your own vision. And this movie we won't change that. This is not the definitive story of Minecraft or the way Minecraft has to be played. This is just another story being told using Minecraft. It isn't the Minecraft movie. It's just a Minecraft movie. And hopefully someone makes a better Minecraft movie and Garrett the guards man says, oh man, when the creeper shows up behind him. Oh man. Thanks for watching this video. I don't normally make videos like this. I normally just, you know, play games. But if you want me to make more videos like this where I just talk and complain about something, let me know in the comments and leave a like on the video. Also, make sure you subscribe because that makes you really cool. That's at least what I've heard. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you didn't, you'll probably enjoy it more than the Minecraft movie.